Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel to what I would say is the first planned video of the year. Now of course that COVID isolation video was just something I did in the moment. This video is going to be explaining what I have going on with the channel, what I have going on with the TSX and the time attack season this year. Now of course last year I did an update video similar to this one where I was very confident that I'd be able to hit the 119s at TMP. That was shot down very fast because I had multiple transmission issues. And once I fixed those issues, I then ran into a huge vibration issue, which was very aggressive every time I made a left turn. Now, I've already ordered the bushings to correct that issue, so everything should be good when I get out there my first time this year. But of course, once you fix one issue, something else can come up, and that's just racing. Every time you fix something, the next weakest link will hold you back from setting your best lap time. Now, aside from fixing that vibration issue, I'm also looking at doing a livery on the car, now that's not going to be anything close to how aggressive a TCR livery is, but it will be something where I can say, hey, this is the 2022 version of the car. This is the version that's going to set all the lap times that I need to be, and this hopefully is the best version of the car ever. Considering that the car has looked the same since maybe 2013 when I wrapped it, when I used to go to shows, when I used to go to Import Fest, it hasn't changed that much. As far as the events are lined up, I am hoping to make every CSCS event again and maybe Northern Speed Time Attack. I know I was supposed to do one last year, but the dates just didn't line up with what I had going on. Of course, I spent a lot of time fixing the car, so I missed out on some more opportunities I could have had. But all things considered, since I did make every CSCS event last year, that should put me somewhere good in the National Championship Series because I think that I should be able to finish third for a street front wheel drive. But that's not something I'm sure about. We'll see when the first event comes around. But it would start the year off very positive if I, was, if I was to get third place in the championship from last year. Now last year, after each event, I made a short recap video to explain that event, which is pretty much a whole bunch of clips I take during the day. And then I do a voiceover on that clip to make a video. Now if you're camera shy and you'd like to start making content about your track days, that's a great way to get your content out there, especially if you're doing things solo most of the time like I am. You can just record everything that you want to show everyone, do the voiceover and not have to worry about someone following you around with the camera. Now this year, in addition to those recaps that I'm currently doing, I'd also like to follow a few other Time Attack drivers part of the series. This is just to shed some more light on Canadian Time Attack. Now this is not going to be anything close to Gears and Gasoline, Time Attack News, or even Netflix series Drive to Survive. This is just going to be me using my free time at the track to get to know some other drivers and show you guys a little bit more about what goes on in Canadian Time Attack since most of my viewers are from the States. Now of course that will be all dependent on how much free time I have at the track if I'm not having any issues and of course on the other side it depends on who wants to participate. Now aside from the TSX and Time Attack of course I have the Type R and Type S that I'd like to make a few videos on. If you have any ideas on what you guys might want to see to do with those cars, please let me know. And just like my COVID isolation video, I will be throwing a few more random videos in there just to keep the channel a bit more active. And while I don't really push it as much, but please, if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment. We all know how social media works, so any kind of support you can provide for me, please do. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the next video when I explain the vibration and some potential lap times that I could be looking forward to.